Hi students, good morning. I hope all are keeping fine. Today we are going to see the eighth chapter of your English grammar book. It's about prepositions. Please come on page number 19. Please take your English grammar book and please come on page number 19. It's about prepositions. We have already seen what is preposition in the previous classes. So, do you remember that? What is preposition? It's a word that is used to link noun or pronoun with other words in a sentence. So, prepositions tell us about the relationship between nouns and pronouns with other words in a sentence. They connect nouns and pronouns to other words. So, dear students, please come on page number 19. Alka put the book on the shelf. Where did she put the book? Yes, she put the book on the shelf. Second one, she kept her bag under the table. Where did she keep? She kept under the table. In the first sentence, on tell us about the relationship between the book and the shelf. In the first sentence, on tell us about the relationship between book and the shelf. In the first sentence is the preposition on. Where is the book? On the shelf. So in the second sentence, under tell us about the relationship between the bike and the table. Which is the preposition in the second sentence? Under. So that shows the relationship between the bike and the table. Where is the bike? Under the table. So dear students, words that show the relationship between a noun or pronoun and other words in a sentence are called prepositions. So some common prepositions are for, in, out, on, at, below, through and across. Students, many prepositions are there. Only some prepositions are given here. So, for, in, out, on, at, below, through, across, etc. So, preposition is a word that shows the position of any object. It's a word that shows the position of any object. It shows the direction, place, time. So, preposition tell us the position. It shows the position of any object. Yes, friends, now we will go through the first exercise that is tick the correct preposition in the brackets. First one, Jai climbed the beanstalk. See, Jai climbed up. It is the correct preposition. Up. Jai climbed up the beanstalk. Beanstalk means a stem of beans plant. It's called beanstalk. Jai climbed up the beanstalk. Then second one, Cinderella left dash the ball. Cinderella left for the ball. It is the correct preposition of for. Then the line P dash the bell. Please look at that picture. You can see that. What did he do? The uh, line, the line peered into the well. Which is the correct preposition? Into. Fourth one. The mouse ran, dash the clock. The mouse ran up the clock. Ran up the clock. Which is the correct preposition? Up. Yes. Hansel and Gretel got lost, dash the wounds. Wounds means forest. See? Hansel and Gretel got lost in the woods. Forest me. Forest under. See. Next one. Sixth one. We believing he runs dash the town. Through the town. She runs through the town. Please come on. Next page. Page number 91. Second exercise that fill in the blanks with the prepositions from the box. 
Please look at that box. Down, to, outside, of, from, near, with, by, for, against. Some prepositions are given in the box. You have to write the correct preposition. I want a gold medal. Dash my essay on recycling. She won a gold medal for my essay on recycling. See, I won a gold medal for my essay on recycling. The next one. Kalindi was leaning dash the door when it swung open. Kalindi was leaning against the door. What she was doing? She was leaning against the door when it swung open. Next, John has gone to Agra dash his parents. With whom? With his parents. So, which is the correct preposition? With. Saat. Parents ke saat. John has gone to Agra with his parents. Fourth one. Lina borrowed a book. Dash Jaya. Kisse from Jaya. Lina borrowed a book from Jaya. Then we leave Dash the school so we are able to walk there easily. We live near the school so we are able to walk there easily. Near means past. When the movie finished, tears are tears were rolling Dash her cheeks. Tears were rolling down, rolling down. So, which is the correct preposition? Down. Seventh one. A bird made its nest right dash my window. A bird made its nest right outside my window. So, which is the correct preposition? Outside. Eighth one. We sent the package dash courier. By courier. Courier say. We send the package by courier. Next, we drove to Chhattisgarh and spend a few days there. We drove to. It shows the direction. We drove to. Then, this photograph of my grandmother always makes me smile. This photograph of. Which is the correct preposition? Of. This photograph of. My grandmother. Is Of my grandmother. See. Please look at the next exercise. Tick the words that will complete the sentences about the picture. Please look at the picture. It is so beautiful to see that picture. Very attractive picture. So. What is the question? Tick the words that will complete the sentences about the picture. A big dog is lying dash the grass. Where is the dog lying on the grass? A big dog is lying on the grass. Then second one. Three tiny kittens are sitting dash his paws. Where are the three tiny kittens? The three tiny kittens are sitting between his paws. So which is the correct preposition? Between. Then third one. A fourth kitten is perched dash his heart. On top his heart. The fourth kitten is on top of his heart. On top. Then fourth one. The big dog is gentle. Dash the kittens. The big dog is gentle with the kittens. Kittens a saath. Chota bhi ke saath. The big dog is gentle with the kittens. Then fifth one. However, he does have a funny look. Dash his face. However, he does have a funny look on his face. On his face face. See how he does a have, have a funny look on his face. Dear students, I hope you all have understood this exercise. So, once again I repeat that preposition is a word 
that is used to link a noun or pronoun with other words in a sentence. So prepositions tell us about the relationship between a noun or pronoun with other words in a sentence. They connect a noun or a pronoun to other words. So preposition is a word that shows the position of any object. That shows the position. It shows the position. It talks about the direction, place and time. It always comes before the noun or a pronoun. It always comes before a noun or a pronoun. Yes, students, I hope you all have understood this part. The remaining exercise we will see in the next video, next class. Have a nice day. Thank you.